Hi, my name is Deborah Weiss, and I'm a trombonist, composer, and educator, and I teach trombone for the Middle School Jazz Academy. I'm going to talk today about something unique to the trombone, and that is the hand slide, and how to develop uh, effective, very effortless trombone slide technique. So uh, I like to use expressions that kind of make me remember what it is to do in the moment. So two expressions I'm going to use today are thumb low and fingertips. So with uh, talking about how to play on the hand slide, we have to address how do we hold the trombone in the left hand? In other words, how am I supporting the weight of the trombone? So this is kind of a typical way that I would hold the trombone. The three fingers curled underneath this brace, the thumb around this brace, and my index finger here. But if you're working with younger players whose hands are smaller, you might want to consider just having them, instead of making this big stretch like that, put their finger right here um, and kind of just resting it there. And then as they grow bigger and their hands get bigger and their fingers get longer, they can bring their index finger up there. What, what makes this nice for supporting the weight of the trombone is it really shows the student where is the weight being supported. It's not supported in the hand, it's actually supported in the forearm and in the upper arm. So have your students do this a little bit or try this out yourself if you're working on this and that makes it a little bit easier to support the weight of the instrument and we don't get strain in our hands. Uh, if that does happen, the good old shake out does the trick and I encourage you to let your younger students do that a lot until they get used to holding the trombone. All right, now the slide. Thumb low. Uh, I'm influenced by a marvelous trombonist by the name of Ed Neumeister uh, with the whole thumb low thing. So I think about having the thumb low on the brace of my hand slide. I keep it down low to the bottom edge of the brace and whether I have two fingers or one finger that's very comfortable with the thumb low. The other aspect of thumb low um, is that uh, it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to turn this way. You can see that my palm is kind of waving at me, facing at me, kind of this motion. All right, I'm going to come back around so you can see it's kind of facing me. And then with the fingertips, which is the other word I mentioned, I kind of keep my contact with all of my fingertips. So when I move the slide, it's subtle motion, which is coming from my wrist and all the joints in my hand, I should say in my fingertips, and that makes it easier for me to move the slide quickly and efficiently. I'll give an example. <laughs> using a bigger movement to show you how I'm kind of launching the slide a little bit with my thumb and bringing it back with my fingertips quickly. Yes, you can launch a slide when doing this, but with practice you'll get a sense of it in your hands, how to keep contact with your slide all the time. Another thing I want to mention is the word subtle. Uh, we ha don't just have one tuning slide on the trombone, we actually have a whole tuning slide right here where we can make subtle adjustments. So. Thumb low, fingertips. Explore this and see if this helps you move the slide as fast as you would like to move it. 